Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be changing the air conditioning condenser in this Astra 1.6 Twin Top Sport. Okay, so like I said in the last video, um, went in for MOT, passed the MOT, had a new drop link fitted. Um, asked them to have a look at the air conditioning system, um, regassing it. And unfortunately, they say it's got a hole in the condenser. So the condenser is actually a radiator, which if we look right down here, I'll see if I can get it on camera, is that one, I think. No, it's even further back than that. It's literally this radiator here or this condenser here. Um, now, I have heard that you can get this out without taking the bumper off, but I'm gonna, the Haynes manual says you should take the bumper off, and I'm gonna whip the bumper off, um, so you can see easily what you're doing, and it'll make my job a little bit easier. It's only a matter of, I don't know, 10 bolts and a couple of clips, and we should be able to get that bumper off. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take the wheels off. So that's the wheels off both sides. Didn't bother videoing that, I'm sure you'll know how to get a wheel off. Um, safely, Supported on axle sands at both sides. Back wheels are chocked just to make sure things don't roll off. Handbrake's on, it's in gear. So now we need to get the bumper off. So the first thing we need to do is remove the front grille, chrome trim piece. And that, if I remember right, is just held on by these three screws, no, four screws here. Um, they are T45, sorry, T25 torx bits. One there, one there, one there, and one there and then there's some clips underneath the bumper and this just lifts out of that so uh, I'll get on and remove those okay so that's the uh, trim bit of the grill out you just have to be a little bit careful of these clips here that you don't break those off they actually push in um, and they go into these slots here um, so you might want to just lift that and put a little bit of a little screwdriver or something and then just push those in to release them I just managed to pull the uh, grill forward and they came out quite easily, possibly because it's been off before. So now, what we've got to do is, we've got these two bolts here, one there and the other one up there. They've got to come out on each side and then getting underneath the car. There's these, ooh, where are we? These plastic rivets in here, we've just got to pull the heads out of those pop those out, three of those along there. Um, disconnect the uh, fog light wiring, which is up here. Oh, if you can see that fog light wiring's right up there. I'll get that off the fog lights. I don't know if we can get it off the back. I'll have a better look at that in a minute. And then back up this side of the car. Excuse the dodgy camera work while we get up off the floor. Getting too old for this crawling about. There are two little plastic rivets. Um, where are we? There. And another one on this side there that I've got to pop out that secure the bumper to this plastic trim, which I think is bolted to the, the actual crash bar there. Um, and then these tabs release. We should be able to pull the bumper off. Um, obviously got to disengage it from the clips that are inside the wing or on the wing there. Um, yes, yeah, so let's crack on with that. And uh, I'll cut back in and show you how we're getting on. So I've got the little plastic rivets out from underneath. Um, I'll show you where they came from in a minute. I've got one of these little pry tools that I just used to um, pop up the ends of the, the little pins, pop the pins out, and then the rivets fell out quite well. So they came from, oh dear, they came from up here. So there's one there, um, one there, and another one up that end. Also disconnected the fog light wiring, oh dear. Sound like a really old man. Um, yeah, so that's come out of there. That's the connector there. It's just had that little lever and you need to pull back that way. And they just pop out. Um, so yeah, I think we're ready to lift this bumper out now. So let's get back up the top side and have a go. So the next stage is to get the bumper unclipped from these clips on the wing here. Um, so how I just did that is I just lifted it, gave it a lift up and pull. Let's see if we can do it on the other side. I'll see if I can do it one-handed and um, 
show you how I did it. So basically, I just got it and lifted it up and pulled it out. Let's come out there. Let's come out of the top. There's just that bit there that's being a bit of a pain. Oh, and there we go. That's out as well. Hope it didn't break the clip, went with a bit of a crack. But what you're trying to do is disengage these lugs here from the bumper here. Looks a bit de deformed there. Just wondering if that might be why that wasn't sitting quite wing quite right on that wing. This is the wing we repaired. So we'll have a look at that when we put it back. I think the only thing to do now is disengage it here. These little clips here, and we should be able to pull the whole bumper out. So I'll give that a go. I'm going to put the camera down while I do it. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, there we have it. Simple as that. Front bumper removed. So we can now get access easily or easier to this um, air condenser. So what we've got here is we've got four bolts. One there. One there. One down there. And one down there which are holding it in but also we've got these connector bolts here that hold the, the part work on so there's one in there and there is another one actually might be able to, be able to get it down here that one where are we there so that holds the uh, the, the uh, air conditioning pipes onto the condenser itself um, not sure where it's been leaking from can't really see at the minute we'll have a better look when we get it out but hopefully that's going to cure the problem um, so yeah, I'm going to get everything disconnected, get this old one out, and uh, I'll cut back in when it's out and show you where we've got to. I'll just quickly show you um, the bolts for the um, holding the air conditioning pipes on are E12s. So there's an E12s female uh, Torx bit there, and the ones that actually hold the radiator or the condenser to the radiator are E8. So I've just quickly got both of those out. That's one of the bolts. They're quite long bolts. Um, that's one of them out. You can see the dye and some of the fluid there. Just a quick thing to mention that I should have said before is the gases are very, very harmful to the, um, the refrigerant gases, very, very harmful to the environment. And it's against the law to let them escape into the uh, atmosphere. So what you need to do is if you're going to do any work on the air conditioning system, you need to take it to a garage that's got the, the equipment and get them to vacuum the system out, get rid of all the gases first. Um, got the other one disconnected at the bottom here. So obviously I had that done. Um, there was a little bit of pressure in there, but not much. Um, well, I had that done when I had them check out the system and when they told me this was leaking. So yeah, let's get these little... Uh, E8 bolts out and we should be able to lift this whole radiator out Okay, that's those four bolts taken out and as you can see the condenser is uh, coming out from underneath the car Just noticed that there's something just to point out is there is a um, a connector here pressure switch connector um, on the aircon Condenser um, Just got to try and get that off Somehow might have to do it with two hands, but yeah, you just got to lift that little lever and pull it off. But I need two hands to do that, so I'll get that off and uh, we'll crack on. There's the old um, condenser out of the car. Um, that's the pressure switch I was on about with the connection on it. Um, and this is the new one here, which looks very, very similar, if not identical. Um, most important end is this end with all the bits and pieces in it. Uh, it's got a couple of little. Um, Blanking plates in there just to protect dirt from getting into it there that one there um, Looks like we're gonna have to swap the sensor over um, It's got to go on there another blanking plate in there that'll have to come out um, and we'll put some new New o-rings in there as well So they sit in here Just to um, sorry, I don't think I'll call them camera sit in there um, And there's another one in the pipe work that goes on the top of this or underneath here rather um, yeah, so let's get the new one in. And because um, that is something I did notice when I replaced the engine in this, that actually a bottom row of fins have come off there. Not that that's where it was leaking from, but as you can see, this has got a nice bracket and and um, and the bottom sort of part of the, the framework there. Um, I don't think that's what's causing that to leak. I can't see where it was leaking from, but um, but yeah, hopefully that's going to fix the problem. So let's get this sweat sensor out 
Um, hoping that's going to come out easily. Not sure how it comes out, but we'll we'll work on that and um, get that swapped over onto this this condenser here. So I bought this green O-ring set. Um, green ones, I think, denote that they're a special type of rubber or something, but they are um, for air conditioning systems. So this is the old O-ring that came out of the sensor. As you can see, we've got the sensor out there now on the bench. It's got a nice new O-ring in there now. This is the old one that came out. Whoops, don't want that to roll off my floor get damaged. Um, it has got a little split in it, yeah, a little split in it there. I think that might have happened when it came out. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be using this to replace all the O-rings. Um, or the, the other two on the two-part connections under the condenser. So let's get this um, pressure switch fitted to the new condenser. The funny thing is, um, this is where the pressure switch mounts on here. And I've just unscrewed that protective cap and it's already got a brand new O-ring on it. So removed the one that was in there um, and I'm just going to screw that under there and tighten it up just for reference it was a 14mm spanner that I used for that so I'm just going to tighten that up and um, then we'll take these blanks out and maybe new o-rings in there under here the one under there possibly and one under there so we'll see how we get on hopefully there is in fact I think I might be able to see that there is one there I don't know no, it might be just a um, protective rubber bung, I think that's that's filling that hole to stop it getting any dirt and dust and stuff in it. But yeah, let's crack on and we'll see what we find behind those uh, blanking plates. Okay, so unfortunately there are no um, new O-rings in here or in here. So it's just the rubber bungs. A couple of rubber bungs. Where are we there? So I'm just going to push those back in the holes now, just to uh, just to protect it a little bit. One in there, and one in there. And then we'll source some new um, washers to fit in there. Um, I'll take the other ones off the pipe work or wherever they've gone. And um, yeah, we can get some new ones put in there. So there it all is. A nice shiny new air condenser fitted. Or well, not air condenser, air conditioning condenser. All the uh, pipe works fitted. Um, I just think I need to remember just to tighten these up because I loosened these off just to get the pipes to line up properly. Um, just need to tighten all these four bolts back up again. Um, and that's jobs are good. And um, I think this is for a cable to run through, which I clipped back up underneath these brackets here, which I clipped back underneath. So I might just pop those off and put them back in properly. Um, but yeah, other than that, I've got to put the bumper and everything and the grill back in. Um, I'll do that off camera because there's not a lot of point showing you that it's just a reversal of the uh, fitting procedure so we just hook it back on clip the clips into the uh, wing brackets here up here make sure they clip home properly this is where the bolts go into through there to hold the bumper on one there and one down the bottom obviously the four little clips or three little clips i think it was right down under there somewhere um and what else did we have oh yeah the uh couple of little rivets plastic rivets one in there and one in there um, and these clips to hold a bumper on obviously the same the other side with the with the two bolts and the clips wing brackets just there um, the only thing that's concerning me a little bit is this obviously had some yellow dye or something in it or lubrication there's no sign that I can see of this um, old condenser leaking anywhere which is a little bit concerning because if it isn't that leaking it's leaking somewhere else and I've wasted I think it was about 65 pounds on a new um, on a new condenser but hey ho let's hope it works um, I will update you once I've got it regassed that probably won't happen for a couple of weeks yet um, so I want to do a bit more the next thing i'm going to be doing is painting the wheels um so we'll see you in that video hope you've enjoyed this one hope it's been helpful if you've got any comments or questions please feel free to ask them down below um don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one